Hello guys, I am Tech009 and this is an item Inc. production how-to video. Today we're going to show you how to change the engine control board on the Xerox Phaser 7300 and also this applies to the Xerox Phaser 2135. Also, don't forget to visit us at www.itemincoline.com or give us a call at 1-800-367-4836 for free technical support. If you depend on your printer, depend on us, Item Inc. I will be using this red arrow to identify any screws that are holding the plastic covers or any metal covers. So let's get started. You first want to start out by removing the image processing board. As you can see, it's held by two screws only a bottom one and a top one. Once those two screws have been removed, the image processing board should slide out with no problem. After removing the image processing board, you can now continue with removing the three screws that are holding the back plastic cover of the machine. After removing the three screws, you can now open the top cover and locate the four screws that are holding the rest of the rear cover of the machine. Once you have removed the four top screws, you can now pull the plastic white cover off the machine with no problem. Once you have removed the back cover, you now have to remove the whole metal cage that's protecting the engine control board. and you have to remove every single screw in order to access the engine control board. Once you have removed the metal cage, you can now begin to take off the data cables that are connected to the engine control board. You first want to start out with removing the LED cables. Carefully remove them and try to keep them in the same order that you have taken them off. You can now take off the other cables on the engine control board. You do not have to worry about remembering where they go because the rest of the cables will only fit in one spot. Just like these two cables right here, each one is unique. Once you have removed all the cables on the engine control board, you will have to remove these five screws. First begin by pushing the LED cables all the way to the top, then pull the board forward and then upward and it should come out with no problem. To replace the new engine control board, you first want to start by placing it slowly downward, making sure no cables are left behind the board. Then you can pull from behind the LED cables. Once all the cables are in front of the board, you can screw down the board with these five screws. After screwing down the engine control board, you can now begin connecting the LED cables. As you can see, each pair of cables has a specific length, so all you have to do is carefully locate the pair that goes on the top and the pair that goes on the bottom. Notice four pairs in a single cable. You can now begin to attach all the cables that are on the engine control board. Just remember like I told you earlier, each cable is unique and will only fit perfectly on one spot on the engine control board. After carefully connecting the data cables to the engine control board, now you can put on the metal protector. Make sure none of the data cables are left outside hanging. You might want to check the data cables twice that each one has been put in the correct spot and also has been connected.
Now connect all the screws that are holding the metal protection. Now you want to answer the rear white plastic cover. Now on the top of the machine, you carefully slide the cables on the top of the plastic rear cover. Now you want to start putting the four top screws that hold the rear white cover of the machine. Then the lower three screws that hold the rest of the rear plastic. And finally, just answer the image processing board. Remember to screw it down with the two screws. Well, this is it, guys. Hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to visit us or give us a call. Please leave comments and suggestions.